Here are the tools you're going to need for this installation. A Phillips head screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, a pair of wire strippers, an electrical tester, electrical tape, and wire nuts. Welcome. I'm in the process of renovating my bathroom, and I want to go ahead and replace this GFCI and single pull switch with a smart new line of decorative products from Leviton called Renew. I can't wait to see how it's going to turn out when we're all finished. But before we start any job, we want to remember safety first. So let's go ahead and shut off the power. Find the appropriate breaker and turn the power off. So now that we've shut the power off, taking a flathead screwdriver, I'm going to go ahead and remove my wall plate. Now before I remove the devices from the wall, I want to take my electrical tester and check the devices to make sure the power isn't present. And I see that it's not, so we're good to go. Now taking a Phillips head screwdriver, I'm going to start removing the devices. Loosen the mounting screws. There we go. So I've gone ahead and removed both of my old devices and unwired both devices. Now you'll notice that I have a piece of electrical tape around this black wire. That's because I wanted to mark which wire came out of the line hot side of my old GFCI. This will be important for when we install the Renew GFCI later. Now if you didn't do this, don't worry. I'm going to show you how to identify your wires using an electrical tester and turning the power back on. If you feel uncomfortable about working with live electricity, please consult a qualified electrician. So before I turn the power back on, I want to take a wire nut and cap each of my wires, placing the wire nut on the end and twisting it clockwise. You want to make sure that they're good and tight so they don't come loose and fall off. And once I'm done this, we're ready to turn the power back on. Let's restore the power. So I've turned the power on. Now taking my electrical tester, I want to check my wires. And I see that the one I marked is the hot wire. So now I want to go shut the power back off. Let's go do that. Find the appropriate breaker and turn the power off. I'm back from shutting the power off. But before I do anything, I want to take my electrical tester and make sure that my wires are dead. And I see that they are. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and install the Renew single pole switch. Once I've finished that, I'm going to show you how to install the Renew GFCI. Now that I've finished installing my Renew single pole switch, I'm ready to install the Renew GFCI. The first thing we're going to want to do is take our bare copper wire or our ground wire and insert it underneath the terminal clamp on our green screw. And then taking my Phillips head screwdriver, just tighten the screw down. making sure it's nice and tight. There we go. Now I'm going to turn over the GFCI and taking our black wire or our hot wire that we identified earlier, I'm going to insert it on the line side or the brass terminal of my GFCI. Again taking my Phillips, we'll tighten that down. You want to make sure these connections are nice and tight Right, so there are many different applications that a GFCI can be used in. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact Leviton Technical Support. So now I'm going to take my white wire, or my neutral, and I'm going to insert it again on my line side, but this time on my silver terminal, underneath the terminal clamp, taking my Phillips making sure it's tight. Right now just kind of bend your wires. Get the device ready. Now it's always a good practice to take a piece of electrical tape and tape the device. This will prevent any unwanted contact between the terminal screws and the side of the box or anything in the box. Right, safety first. So there we go. And now we're ready for mounting. So I'm just finishing up putting the final turns and a great thing about Renew are these alignment tabs on both sides of the device that help when you're ganging multiple devices to make sure you get the spacing right for your wall plate. 
I see I just want to make a little adjustment here right there and we're good now taking my decorative style wall plate I want to make sure that the removal notches are facing down when I install it and that the Leviton logo is in the lower left hand corner and it just snaps right on real simple it's renewing a snap let's go turn on the power and try it out let's restore the power so I've gone ahead and restored power now all GFCI's from Leviton come needing to be reset from the factory. You'll notice that the LED is not lit. If it were lit at this point prior to me hitting the reset button, it would mean that we have a line load reversal and that we've reversed the wiring. So I'm just going to press the reset. I see that the LED comes on, so we're good to go. I'm just going to test it out with this night light. And look at that. I have to say, I am really happy how this turned out. And with the 20 different color options that Renew has, who knows what color I'm going to have the next time you come back. Have a great day.